What up, y'all? It's Baker. We got a Young Dakota interview about to take place. Boom. Gonna pin that. Rob, what up, dog? How you doing? About to do this Young Dakota. Saint, what up, Saint? Dead eternally, about to do this interview right here. Hope y'all doing good, man. November 1st. I still want to keep up the Halloween vibes, though. My death bro, what's up? I definitely want to kind of prolong the, the Halloween spooky vibe for this, for this week. But show Saint, hey, bro, I'll talk to you later, dude. Young Dakota, it's that time, bro. Boom. Hope y'all doing good. All right, Saint, charge your phone, bro. And then we got to talk about the music video. Young Dakota. I sent you, I sent you the invite. Instagram be lagging sometimes. All right, Young Dakota, I went ahead and sent you another invite what's going on bro young dakota welcome to up the radio how you feeling i feel good bro finally happened yes sir bro yes sir there's so much uh, i'm about to learn about you bro but first off how you feeling how are the vibes the vibes are good bro i just got done working on an ep and i'm just excited for the interview the ep is another thing we want to talk about um is it Please stay. What's the song called? Please don't go. Please don't. Yeah, stay. it's got it's got six tracks. Please don't go. Please stay awake. You already heard that one. Um, yeah, that one. yeah, four more. Yeah. So, um, for the viewers out there, I'm new to your music, Young Dakota. I'm I'm new to you as an artist, but I did Absolutely. get the song that you you dropped from the EP, and it's dope, bro. It's oh. really. Yeah, bro, that's sick, dude. That's awesome. Thanks. Uh, we'll talk more about that, but first, let's talk about you as an artist, Young Dakota. How'd you come up with that name? I was like 16 years old, and like I had this this name Dakota in my head for like two years before that, and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, shit, it was just my username on everywhere I was at, you know, Dakota something, Dakota zero five, Dakota, and all that. So when I decided to um, stop start dropping dropping tracks on SoundCloud, it was just rap songs. When I was like 16, I was like. Lil Dakota, Young hmm. Dakota. That's when it came to me. To this day, yeah. I still stuck with it. it. Yeah, Young Dakota has more of a better sound than Little Dakota. Absolutely. Um, so you've been doing this rap thing since 16, huh? Yeah, only now I decided to really start taking it seriously. You saw this year, you start taking it serious. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. And that's how I got into XO. Yo, that's another thing we need to talk about. XO. So... I learned about you because of ExoClick. I've been following ExoClick for a while now, and yeah. that's how I found out about you. So how did the ExoClick thing happen? Well, I was just in the hashtags of um, hashtag SoundCloud, hashtag emo rap, because, you know, that's sort of where I'm in. And mm -hmm. that's where I found um, Troubled 999. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were talking for a bit, and then eventually um, he hooked me up with a Xamix, Xamix. And through Xamix, he told me he had ExoClick, and... Um, he welcomed me in. Yo, so was that the first collective you, you've ever been in? Um, well, um, yeah, pretty much the first click. Yeah, the click. Um, can you can you see me? Is there any lag? Can you hear me fine? I can hear you perfect. Am I good? Yeah, you're good, bro. You're good. Make sure all of you get a good look. So this is the first click. You, what made you decide to join this collective, first of all? It's just where I perfectly fit in. Everyone is doing that little peep sound. Everyone's doing emo rap, and um, it's located over in Florida. Well, it's going to be soon. And um, it just seems like a perfect ch um, chance to get out there, you know? Yes, sir. So, Young Dakota, the viewers, where you're located. What state are you from? I'm in California, Southern California. Oh, no way. Me too, bro. Oh, what? shit. IRL I'm... interview? <laughs> yeah, real live, dude. Oh, man. So, you're in Southern California. Um, That's cool. I'm from the high desert. I don't know if you're too familiar with that. I'm by a rancho. Rancho Cucamonga. Bro, I'm literally like 40 minutes away from you. Holy shit, bro. We got to find the middle and link. Most definitely need a link up, bro. That's crazy. Damn, yeah. bro. Connections, bro. Connections. Connections, bro. That's what I'm saying. 
For real. And that's what's going to get you far. So, Young Dakota, what some of the music inspiration got you where you're at? Lil Peep. Lil Peep, Lil Peep, Lil Peep. Just all that Lil Peep. He changed the game for sure, dude. Yeah, he, he made me realize I want to become an artist myself. I love it. I used to love singing, and now I love singing and writing and all that shit. I love it. That's dope. So you said you started singing and rapping around 16. What were you doing before that? What were some of your hobbies? Well, when I was 12, I um, found out about FL Studio Mobile, and that's where I was um, I was trying to be like Skrillex. I was making that dubstep shit for quite a bit of time. Quite a bit of time. And um, that's just sort of what I like doing, just um, producing and shit. I didn't think I'd ever get into actually like rapping until again sixteen, Young Dakota. Um, Dang, so you've yeah. always part of music. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Skrillex being my first inspiration. So you said that you were producing? Is that yeah? What nothing crazy, you know, getting my two views on SoundCloud kind of thing when I was like twelve, all the way up to sixteen. Hmm, that's dope though. Is that something that you want to pursue, or are you just sticking to the vocalist? I'm taking it as a, a vocalist artist. Um, I produce some of my tracks. Um, I'm just still a little rusty at it. That's why I still use the YouTube beats and whatnot. But yeah. So do, do you still use FL Studios? I um yes to to um beat make to produce. I use um still my phone FL Studio Mobile. Believe it or not, I'm most comfortable on that shit. Uh, what do you use to record your vocals? GarageBand on my MacBook. That shit is good, dude. Garage Band for sure. People, it's underrated. People want to shit on Garage Band, but it's really dope, bro. That's a lot yeah. of good stuff. On the MacBook, that shit does everything you need to do. Dang. So, bro, Young Dakota, talk about the first time you ever recorded a song. First time hearing your voice. Talk about that experience. So, it was really fucking embarrassing. I, um, I had this girlfriend when I was like 16. You already know what it is. 16 years old, girlfriend. It's all awkward and shit. I kind of kissed her, kind of didn't, you know, side of the cheek awkwardly. And I was like, you know what? I want to make you a song. So I, um, I was like, oof. Um, before I wanted to actually start rapping, I decided to take on this like singing thing. So I made the beat, sounded like shit. I um, made these, uh, it was called Catching Dreams. I, um, the lyrics were like totally god awful. And I, remember <laughs> I recorded it in my dad's car on my laptop because I was so fucking awkward about um, my parents hearing me sing upstairs. So I um I used FL Studio Mobile to fucking record it, which was a big mistake because it sounded like shit. And um for real, dude, it was like I sounded shitty on it. It was embarrassing. And I remember I played it in the car with my headphones on, and my dad <laughs> said he heard that shit. He heard the catching dreams, and then he was like laughing and shit. And um, now he's my manager. So, yo, for real? Yeah, my own dad. Yeah, and that's dope. So let's talk about the the dynamic with that. Um, um family doesn't really support music in the family you know what i mean it's always a problem there you yeah. have manager. that's a big us bro how does that make you feel so what happened was um i ended up dropping out of high school due to mental health problems but that's when music came into like you know in the clutch because i'm really fucking stubborn and i always have been and mm -hmm. that's when i um i'm a little a little uh, yeah i was always a little stubborn so I always said, I'm going to drop out of high school, be a musician, drop out of high school, be a musician. And the time came where I just didn't stay in high school anymore. And mm. what am I going to do? Right? I don't have a high school diploma. And I was like, let's just full fucking send this music thing. And my dad was not supportive about me dropping out of high school until right. um, he said, you know what, if this is what's going to make you happy, let's full fucking send it. So he bought me all the equipment I needed when I was like 17. And now he's like hooking me up and shit. So full hey, man. That's mad beautiful, bro. That's mad beautiful. That's what you want as a child to have that support from a parent. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of a, a tough situation that you were in. Yeah, absolutely. High school was just not working for me. And he saw that. And him wanting the best for me, he wants me to be happy and also do what I want to do. So he just, the best dad ever. Awesome, bro. Dang, man. That's, hey, yo, big ups to your pops, bro. It's dope. Absolutely. Don't take it far. Yeah, I'm sure he's in this live. I don't know if he joined it yet. Yeah, Yo. he did join it already a while ago. Okay, yeah. Say, oh, what up to uh, Young Dakota's Pops? Yeah, um, old Dakota. Dude, your song that I got to listen to, bro, um, you sound completely different from every artist that I put on Upper Radio. So you're brand new to the... You're, you have a brand new sound, dog. So I want to applaud you on that. Do you reckon you have a different sound? I think I do have a little bit of a different sound. I was trying to go for that, like, glitchy hyper pop sound mixed with the slow emo rap. 
put that shit together. You know, that's sort of what I was trying to do. What? So did you put any time and effort to it or does it just come out effortlessly? Um, the mixing is a pain in the ass sometimes, but it usually just, I find myself at the computer and I'm just doing it, you know? It takes time though to get it right. All right, so how familiar are you? I know you're brand new to ExoClick. How familiar with all the members? Um, Troubled and I already kind of knew each other for like a year, Not, nothing too close. Um, Xamix and I, we're sort of um, getting closer as we um, talk every day. And the rest of them, I'm still meeting the boys, you know? I'm still yeah. meeting the boys. Hey man, ExoClick is a dope collective filled with dope individuals, bro. And it's dope that you're part of that, bro. Yeah, I'm excited, dude. The next golf boy click. Yes, sir. Has anybody so far, by far, um, give you any like uh, advice? Um, I wouldn't say nothing too memorable, like mm -hmm. you know, notable. But one thing I've learned on my own is to um just be more um collaborating, you know, because I see mm -hmm. them doing that, and I'm like, holy shit, you know, the hustle. I I'm learning the hustle from them because I see every day they're on that shit with social media. They're on making tracks together. And I'm like, I need to start doing that way more. Yes, sir. That's the way to get up, bro. Is you just gotta have that constant grind, you know what I mean? But it's also important to make sure you give yourself some free time, make sure you're good. You know, that mental space is very important. Absolutely, yeah. What's up? How well with scheduling that? How am I with scheduling that? Yeah. I'm pretty awful with it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I'm either on it or I'm not. There's no middle, you know? So talk about the process of making a song. How does that go? All right. Um, it's been the same way every single time. Either mm -hmm. make a beat or find a beat. And it's got to like 100% click with me because I'm very skeptical with that shit. Very precise. Um, I find the beat and I sort of hum my lyrics or just mm -hmm. hum a melody to it. From there, I just start writing. And that usually is a pain in the ass because I have to be in the right mood for that or else I'll never get any writing done. From there, I... Um, I sort of sing it, write it. I pace around the room because I pace a lot. And I usually make music while pacing. I can't sit down. Mm. And um, yeah, I, I write the lyrics and then I hit the computer and just record verse by verse. Awesome. So you're, so you're a songwriter. Have you done any freestyling? I um, used to do it way more than now. Now I sort of fit myself really more in as a singer than a rapper. Dude, that's crazy. So this tape that you're working on, it's an EP? Yes, it's called Florida because of my future trip to Florida. No way. And that's dropping this Thursday? Yep, this Thursday, bro. Dude, I'm excited about that. So without giving away too much, give us a little bit of the background behind that tape. All right, so Florida. It all started with um, me and um, Zamix's collaboration. We, um, I sent him this song called Lipstick Shoddy, Shoddy that I made. Lipstick Shoddy. Um, it, it's pretty tight. I can't really put a genre on that. I sent it to him and I'm like, dude, I've heard your shit. I'm sure you can do a good job on this one. And he eventually sent it back and I was like, wow. Um, I wasn't releasing music at that time because I just wanted to put something together. So I was just making songs and either loving it or hating it. And eventually after I saw everyone doing the EP, I was like, dude, I need to get some shit out there. And also I was looking to perform eventually. So I was like, I need some tracks to perform with. So I made, I put together the ones that I really liked and this Thursday. Oh boy. Damn, that's dope. And that's cool that you kind of prepared for a performance. Have you performed before? I haven't officially performed. I have performed in front of friends, um, sometimes at parties, things that's like true. that. You know, my my one song, you know, usually. But um now I'm actually looking to perform in Victorville. I have some fans over there that want to hear me. Ooh, we dog, bro. So you said you performed in front of a few friends, but how was that experience? um nervous as shit it, it can be a little yeah. a little scary a little nerve-wracking i um sometimes i would feel like i was gonna throw up before i perform so i would get all stacked up on my pills and then i would just do it kind of thing and yeah that's it's scary shit but like i want to do it yeah it is very intimidating dude it really is an intimidating position but out of all the aspects of music recording songwriting performing even though you haven't done too much of that what do you think you favor more? Definitely the daydreaming of performing. Mm. Believe it or not, that's more exciting than actually making the music because I just want to perform so much. It's special, bro. There's something about it. Just seeing the artist perform, you can just feel the energy. 
You know what I mean? And it, tra it transcribes to the, the audience. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Like I, I go to this, um, this, this band, they perform live. Um, they're a Lincoln Park tribute. Mm. Um, they, um, they're called in the end and I go to every single fucking California show. Dude, the way I feel in the audience, the way I see everyone else feeling, because I look around and the way I see them feel, there's nothing I want more than to feel that again with my music and to make others feel that way. Yes, bro. Wow. Yeah, definitely. You do have a, a good head on your shoulders, bro. You did bring up that you have a, a good amount of fans in Victorville, right? Yeah, I got like actually like maybe like more than like maybe 17, 18 fans. And if they all bring their fucking friends, this could be a big show. Bro, that's amazing. That's the city I'm in. I live in Victorville. Holy shit, bro. Come on yeah. through. Bro, I'm going to be there. That's why I feel like connections are such a trip, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a trip that... Because you're the first artist ever to even bring up the city of Victorville. Holy fuck, bro. We got to yeah. meet them, bro. What the fuck? At the it's show. It's definitely going to happen, bro. Gosh. Oh, gosh. What a trip. Now, how big are you um, on music videos? I couldn't find anything from you. Do you have any out? I haven't put out a music video just because I'm, again, very new to the industry, like getting started. Um, yeah. I need to um, get a photographer, get together with them, hook it up, man. That's what I got to do. I'll get a music video out there, hopefully get it on one of those big channels. Oh, yes, dog. I can see that. You're a talented artist, bro. Like I'm saying, like you have a new sound that I'm unfamiliar with. And it's dope to put that into the into the underground, let the people hear it. Um, now, let's say, okay, you have the EP on Thursday. We got, what, two months left of the year. Do you have anything else planned for the remainder of the year? Fuck ton of shows. More singles. Collaborations with people you never imagine. Some shit, man. That's beautiful, bro. Now, with the fame, how famous do you want to get i want to inspire the 16 year olds that are pacing around the room saying i want to be big i want to inspire those i want to hit them those who want to give a sound to for the mental health i want to give it to them and i want them to be inspired and i want to show them those who are stuck on the couch probably you know wanting to die i want them i want to make sure that they know that they can fucking do it because i did that's what I really want. And I want millions to do that. Mm, that's true, dog. Mental health is a big deal. And I see it making more waves, especially here in the underground. Um, what, how do you feel about mental health and music right now? Music is a great fucking way of expressing how you feel and sort of connecting with those who are feeling the same way. Because I've been on the other side, too, you know? Yeah. It's a great way to sort of, you know, it saves lives. Most definitely, dude. It definitely does. I have here, someone popped up a question. Um, oh, no, they're just saying you're awesome, bro. They're just saying good stuff about you. The chat's going oh. happy. You got nothing but love right now. That's amazing, bro. Um, if, if it's cool with you, can you name us two things that the viewers don't know nothing about you that would be shocked or pretty cool to learn about you? Huh, let me say, let me think, let me think. Um... When I was like 14, I used to be one. Oh, I used to want to be a furry. Um, furry. I'm sure nobody knew about that. Um, you know, I only wanted it to be a furry because I was very uncomfortable in my own skin. I didn't mm. like who I was because I was becoming depressed. Mm. So I thought being a furry would sort of put something around me and make me look better than who I really am. And turns out that wouldn't have been a good idea because I eventually learned to be comfortable with who I am and express it with hair color, tattoos, piercings and shit, you know? Oh, wow, bro. That, you know what? I want to applaud you for being comfortable in your own skin, bro. It's it's a tough situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for you to do that, too, on the podcast, that's beautiful. Um, What I would say, too, is if you're still kind of interested in the furry kind of thing and cosplay, that would be a brand new thing to touch on in the underground music scene. I feel I, like nobody's I, ever done that shit before. Everyone's too afraid to talk about that kind of thing. Dude, I welcome it. I think that would be mad dope, bro. Are you still into that kind of stuff? Not really. I am into like the cosplay shit. I'm. I would never cosplay because I don't. I'm just. I'm fucking uncultured. But I do applaud those who do because that's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to a cosplay convention or anything of that sort, but I've always wanted to. I just never got the time to do it. I imagine everyone's super friendly and welcoming. Yeah, dude. I've seen plenty of conventions. It looks mad dope, bro. It looks mad dope. Um. Yeah. Here. Dead bodies. Do you know what that means? No, I don't know shit about that. 
Ah, oh, shit, but someone put that on there. <laughs> Dog. Hey, I'll so... dead bodies, fuck it. No, but... Yeah. All right, so you got the EP Thursday. You got some events you want to perform at. Do you have anything planned for 2022? Or are you just in the moment? I'm in the moment, bro. I'm doing this shit completely unprofessionally, but at the same time, it's coming off as very professional. Um, Trouble999, he joined. What's good, bro? Yeah. Um, fucking 2022, let's see where it takes me. Dude, mad sick. Okay, so done any tracks yet was the max with troubled i've done one with again Zim, um zamix i've done one with him lipstick shoddy's coming out this thursday um Ooh. troubled i'm still trying to get a track with you bro let's do it mm. for all the viewers who are brand new to you young dakota um what's the one song they should first listen to by you hmm. the one song <clears throat> attitude that shit is on SoundCloud. If you've been on my SoundCloud, I got a few singles from before I was doing this professionally. Attitude. Everyone got, you got to listen to Attitude. That the, represents me, bro. Attitude. I haven't heard that one yet. I most definitely will check that out. Y'all, the viewers, to learn about Young Dakota, listen to Attitude. Uh, so now, I have another question. Um, as far as the collective, do you feel like you're going to stay in EXO? Is it family? Or are you, is it just a momentarily thing? I'm not too sure. I haven't learned about everyone yet, but I do have a general idea of what it's about. I want to stick in it for now. Um, and I hope we could all grow together. And I don't really have any plans of leaving as of now. No. I don't know every single member in EXO, but I do know a good amount and I'm pretty close with them. And I would say that you guys very well match together. Very good. You guys have a dope sound that is not like cloned. You guys are not clones. You guys all have a specific sound. And it most definitely like, it's beautiful. It's a cherry on top. And um, I don't know where you, you decide to go in the future, bro. But I, I'm going to say that it's a perfect fit for you, bro. It's dope that Young Dakota is part of EXO. That's exciting, dude. That, I mean, I would have never thought that I would have found my place as well as I did in EXO. And I see it's all getting really big. Um. I'm, I was actually going to post, I actually did post it. I don't know if you saw any notifications. I found out that you were on EXO through your Instagram stories. And I made a post about it on my Upper Radio account. But bro, it like, like tripped out the whole Instagram app, closed I didn't it. See that? I didn't even see the post, bro. I got to check that shit out. Yeah, dude, no, I, I, it didn't work. It didn't want to upload. I'm like, that's so strange that I, this occurrence happened. And I'm so like, in tune with like frequencies and stuff like that. And I, th I found that interesting because I was really trying to put you on upper radio. I'm like, maybe we should get oh. the get the podcast going first and then we'll do another post. But I thought I'd share that with you and just there's a, there's a, you got a certain vibe on you, bro. It's, it's pretty powerful. That's crazy, dude. Well, um, oh wait, so the post didn't go through, right? It didn't go through. Oh, I thought it was up. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't bro, see it. I attempted like, at least four times, dude, and it didn't want to upload. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, man. We got to get that going. Yeah, we definitely got to get that going, bro. Um, Young Dakota, bro, is there anything else we didn't hit on that you'd like the viewers to know? So uh, I do got to ask, though, is it normal? Like, is it pretty easy for members to get into XO or is it like a fucking piece of work? Like, they don't just let anyone in. Um, from, what you see? from what I see there, they choose the right artists. They don't let anyone in XO. Um, that's from my perspective and whoever does join that I've seen so far, they've, they've stayed in it. I haven't seen no members leave and it's a freaking, it's a unit, bro. They all got each other's backs. They really are they supportive of each other and um, they're big on upper radio. So that's why I said like, I give big props to you be part of that, but um, it's a unit, bro. Uh, I don't see them putting in any random ass artists in the click at all. That's crazy. Well, I'm very honored to be in it. Yeah, so that's why I'm, like, giving you props. But I'm like, dang, you guys are really making moves out here, dude. It's something to be excited about. I'm excited just watching you guys. Yeah, dude. It's, yeah, you're watching history. And I'm watching it while being in it. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's scary shit. Um, I'm always afraid that um, I, don't, I won't have, like, as much of a work ethic as the boys in my group. Just because I see how fucking great they are working. Like, they are consistent. And I'm mm -hmm. afraid that I just, you know that I won't get really that far with how I'm going, but I have to remind myself that this doesn't come to you 
you have to go to it. And that's yes. sort of what I keep in my mind every time I feel unmotivated, let's say. Uh, if I can offer you any advice, bro, I would just say take it step by step. You know, you'll get there. It's a learning process. Um, this team is not going to just abandon you unless you're not doing nothing for the crew. You know what I mean? Absolutely, uh, yeah. Facts, bro. But I want to give you props to thank you, Young Dakota, for joining Upper Radio. For all the viewers watching, the ones that know you and who don't know you, where they can find the music, all the art, go ahead and let them know. All right, boys, Young Young Dakota fans, or Young Dakota almost fans, you um you go in my bio, you'll see a link tree, you'll see a link to um, please um please stay awake, and you'll also see a link below to my SoundCloud. Just hit that, and you'll find my music. Um, have at it, boys. Um, my new EP will be everywhere, so you'll yeah. find it everywhere. Okay. EP Thursday on all music platforms or just SoundCloud? Well, it might be on a few platforms because I don't got the full distro kit, meaning I can't really put a date on it. But on Thursday, it'll probably be on some, but throughout the week, it'll expand. Boom, bro. It definitely Fortune. will be on SoundCloud, though. So, yeah. All right, y'all heard it, man. Young Dakota, thank you for joining Upper Radio. It was an honor. Thank you for being part of it. And we most definitely got to get a second one once we see the EP go through, get some performances. We'll get Link Up. Beautiful, bro. Absolutely. Bro, we will definitely get that show link going. We'll link up and shit. Um, we gotta yes. get another Apple Radio um podcast going again. It's Most very happy. I'm very happy being on here. Thank you, Young Dakota. I appreciate your time, brother. Absolutely, bro. Have a good one. Have a good Have one, a bro. Thank you, guys. Peace.